Hello, second grade. This is module four, lesson four. And our objective today is I can add and subtract multiples of 10 and some ones within 100. So I have some uh, squares here. I have some blue ones and I have some green ones. So let's count how many of each I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue ones. And one, two, three, four, five green uh, green ones now i'm gonna try i need to try and find the difference of how many blue and how many green squares i have so to find the difference i need to add or subtract which one All right i need to subtract so what would be my number sentence my number sentence would be eight minus Five. And we can look and we can see that the difference between um, the blue and the green is 3. Because I have these lined up right here. So the number sentence is 8 minus 5 equals 3. Now what happens if I add one more blue and one more green square to each line? Does the difference change? Let's see. So I'm going to add a blue and I'm going to add a green one. Is the difference in the number of blue ones and the green ones still the same? Yes. I still have the difference of three uh, squares here. I still have three more blue ones than green ones, just like I did in this previous problem. So what is my new number sentence? Should be 9 minus 6 equals 3. Because now I have 9 blue squares and 6 green squares because I added 1 to each. So I, it is safe to say that 8 minus 3 equals 9 minus 6. And both of those equal 3. All right, let's do this one. How many blue squares and how many green squares do I, do, do I have? And what is the difference? Count how many blue squares. How many did you count? Did you count six? Good job. Now count the green squares. Did you count four squares? And what is the difference? Let's look. Did you say two? Good job. So what would my number sentence be? Did you say six minus four equals two? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Now what if I added two more squares to each line? So two more blue ones, two more green ones. Do you think the difference is going to stay the same or do you think it's going to be different? Let's look and see. So I'm going to add one, two blue ones here, and one, two green ones here. Did the difference change, change or did it stay the same? Looks like it stayed the same. Uh, there's still a difference of two blue squares. I added two squares to each line, and I still have the difference of two blue ones. So what's our new number sentence? Did you say 8 minus 6 equals 2? Good job. So it would be safe to say that 6 minus 4 equals 8 minus 6, and they both equal 2. All right, let's see here. Can you tell me the number sentence for this one? Find the number of blue squares, the number of green squares, and what the difference is. <clears throat> Go ahead and write that down. Did you say 9 minus 5 equals 4? Good job. Now, if I were to add, let's see, one more blue one and one more green one, what is our new number sentence? Did you say 10 minus 6? equals 4. Good job. 
So what would our equal be down here? We need to put 9 minus 5 equals 10 minus 6 equals what? 9 minus 5 equals 10 minus 6 equals 4. Good. All right. So now we're going to use a tape digraph here to help us solve this. So <coughs> we have the number the number sentence 23 minus 9 equals 24 minus 10. So which number did we change here? We changed to the nearest 10. So 9 was the closest to 10. So we we changed this to the 10. So we know we, that we could add one more here. And the difference is 14. So we changed 23 and we added one more to it and we changed 9 and we added one more to it. All right. So here let's do this one. Um what should we do? Should we add one more, two more? How many should we add? Which one is the closest to the next 10? Looks like 19 is. So how many more do we need to add to it to make the make it to the next 10? Next 10 would be 20. So if we add one more to 19, that would be 20. So let's put the 32 down here and the 19 here because that's what we have here. And we're going to add one more to each of them. And our new number sentence would be 23 minus 20. Because if we added one more to 22, it would be 23. And if we added one more to 19, it would be 20. What would the answer be? Go ahead and solve that on your own. Did you answer 13? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. All right, how about this one? Let's put the 50 here and the 29 here. <coughs> so we need to change this one to the closest 10. What is the closest 10? 30, right. So how many more do we need to add to make this the, to the closest 10? Now remember, we have to add it to both of these numbers. 1. So let's add 1 here to the 50 and 1 here to the 29, which the 50 now if we add one more is 51, and if we add one more to the 29 it is 30. So our new number sentence is 51 minus 30. Go ahead and solve that. Did you come up with 21? If you did, good job. All right. So let's try this with some um, addition. So I have 29 plus 46. And we equaled 30, 30 to 45. <clears throat> Do you see what we did here? We changed this one to the closest 10. So the closest 10 to from 29 is 30. So we added one there plus 46. Now did we add one or take away from here? We took away, right. So addition is going to be a little bit different. We're going to add to one of them and take away from the other one. So 30 plus 45. And here's our numbers, number strip. We put the 29 here and we added one to it and we took one away from the 40 from the 46 which became 45 so if we're going to add 30 plus 45 what is our answer 75 good let's try this one 
So 38 plus 45. So let's put our 38 here. What is the closest 10 to 38? 40. Now how many more do we need to add to get this to 40? 2. Good job. So if we added 2 to here, we need to take away 2 from here. So from 45, take away 2 is 43. So our new number sentence would be 40 plus 43. Go ahead and solve that. Did you get 83? Good job. Okay, do this one on your own. <coughs> Remember, we need to change the one that is closest to the next 10. And we would probably change the 68 to the next 10. All right, let's compare answers. So I said that we needed two more to change the 68 to 70. So I put my 70 here and I added two more, which means I need to take away two from the 27, which changed it to 25. So my new number sentence would be 25 plus 70. And what did you get for your answer here? I got 95. It is now your turn to solve these. So you're going to solve 1a and 1b. And then you are going to solve number 2, which says, Craig checked out 28 books at the library. He read and re returned some books. He still has 19 books checked out. How many books did Craig return? Draw a tape diagram or number bond to solve. So solve both of these, take a picture of it, and see saw it to me. Good luck.